Hey, what's up, my cochinos and cochinas? I'd like to welcome you back to another fucking video. Um, all right. So I created a poll on my community post, and I asked which one of you wanted to write it. No. Um, actually, I created a poll on my community post asking which place should I eat at. No, I didn't say that either. I said, what should I eat? Should I eat tacos? Should I eat a sandwich? Should I eat pizza? Or should I eat a salad, fat boy? A couple of you said eat a salad, fat boy. Um, I hope your mom tosses a dirty salad. But uh, most of you voted for tacos because maybe it's Tuesday and you're like fucking Taco Tuesday. It's Tuesday, right? My fucking schedule's all fucked up, homie, with this fucking COVID shit. So I'm a little disappointed because I'm trying to make a fucking thumbnail and I can't. And let me show you why. All right. So I go to this place called Tacos El Charrito here in Lodi, California. Never been there. First time I figured, you know, it looked like a place that was kind of cracking. And they give me tacos in foil. They're like all individually wrapped in shit, which is cool, I guess. But I don't know, bro. I've never seen that before. Have you ever seen this? It usually comes in a container, right? So I don't know what the fuck I'm going to do for a thumbnail. Um, we're just going to have to eat them one by one. And they didn't give me no salsa either. So that's a no on that. But one thing I do have is fucking jalapenos, radishes, and lime. So that's cool. Um, and also, before you leave the video because you're bored as fuck, I'm going to talk about the time that I was in a race and I used a taco truck to race. And I actually won. And I'll tell you, you know, how that all went about. And this was actually at the fucking um, NASCAR Indy 5000, if that's what you call it. We're going to be drinking a Green Monster, all right? Um, this is Monster Energy Ultra Paradise, all right? So I have uh, I had Starbucks earlier because, you know, I'm a fucking caffeine addict. So Starbucks, they use like an ice that never fucking melts. So I still got some left. So I'm going to go ahead and pour that so you guys can kind of get a look. Damn, bro, I got it hella wet. All right. I did it like that, and I got silent, not to be all awkward and shit, but, you know, I like when uh, other channels do that shit. It's, like, kind of relaxing and shit, you know what I mean? All right, so enough of that bullshit. Let's go ahead and take a sip. That shit's bomb, bro. Tastes like candy, homie. I actually had a... um. One of the white sugar-free monsters yesterday, one of the cracker ones, and uh, someone told me that the green one was bomb. So I took their advice, and I'm glad I did. So let's go ahead and get intimately involved with these tacos that I have to individually unwrap and try not to make a mess out of because the fucking... It's just, it's ridiculous, bro. I'll tell you one thing, though. They look pretty good. I don't think you can really fuck up tacos. If you guys have been to a taco truck, I know I just said tacos and then taco, but look, it is what it is. If you guys have ever been to a taco truck, bro, and they fucked up your tacos, let me know in the comments below. All right, so check that out, bro. Like, maybe that's a good thumbnail, bro. Like, I don't know. Like, just one taco? Just, like, chilling, like, like he's only going to eat one taco? Who's going to want to click on the video, you know what I mean? All right. Um... Let's go ahead and put a little bit of a uh, fucking some cond condoms on it. Let's put some condoms on it. Psh, fucking lift it right, bro. Put some uh, condiments, which I didn't get a whole lot. I got five tacos, so that's one fucking radish. I know it looks measly and shit, bro. But uh, let's see. This shit ain't easy, bro. All right. I'm sure the lime's going to get everywhere. I'm going to be smelling like citrus and shit, which is cool. You know what I mean? So let's just go ahead and fucking do this. Because it's just fucking very awkward without a container. I'll say that much. All right, enough first world problems. Got a good thumbnail? This is a chicken taco. I got some asada ones as well. So if you're not familiar with 
taco chuck tacos or street tacos. Pretty basic. Cilantro. Cebolla or onion. And whatever meat of your choice. And they put sauce on it too. Mmm. All right. These putos are redeeming themselves. That was pretty bomb. That was only one in. I don't know why I got the hiccups. Probably because I inhaled that son of a bitch. Like your mom inhales my jokes. All right. Like she inhales my jokes. All right, so I just grabbed an asada one, and the asada's already spilling all over the place. That's what she said. So, un momento, por favor. All right. Check that out. People driving by and shit. Like, why the fuck's he holding his food up and shit? Because I can, homie. All right. So that's the asada. You want a good look at that shit? The lighting's not the best. But yeah, that's the asada. I got a piece of asada right there. And right there. Let's go ahead and um, take a bite of the jalapeno. Got the napkins on deck. Just juicy, bro. Fuck, this video is gonna be long. So I gotta talk about my story. Mm. On point, bro. Thank you guys for telling me to do tacos. I was already craving them myself. Damn, these are good, bro. They redeemed themselves on individually wrapping them and putting them in a bag. Fucking tacos. What do you guys think? Your Taco Bell or something, homie? Your fucking taco truck, bro. Put it in the container. Just my advice. Um, Because people want to be able to put sauce and shit, you know, drizzle it all over their... Um, Oh, sorry. I was thinking about something else. They want to drizzle it all over their tacos, you know what I mean? Shit, I got three more, homie. Hold on. I'm at, see? That's, fuck, homie. I just opened one, and then hella meat spilled out. <laughs> like when she unzips me. Um, there we go, homie. Boil. Um, get some radish. And that bitch. And let's just fucking, uh, let's just dig in. And like I said, you know, I'm trying to be kind of careful here. I don't want it spilling all over the place. <laughs> Everything I say, bro, is like, sounds sexual, all right? Mmm. Goddamn, bro. Some of you guys, if you're just here for the story time, it's gonna be a minute. This is bomb. Mm. They're 150 each. Not a horrible price.
the jalapenos, especially the pickled ones, you gotta take a bite and you gotta suck the juice out. So all you hoes out there are gonna be good at it. But if you're new to it, you know what I'm saying? That's how you do it. <clears throat> all right, let's see. Um, got an asada one, but all the asada fell out. Let me put it back in. Let me put it back in. Let's go ahead and um, grab this one. They're making it hard here for a pimp, bro. They're making it very hard for a pimp. Because it's like, while I'm grabbing one taco, it's unwrapping the other one. Very fucking... Give them two thumbs down for that, you know what I mean? <laughs> Come on, bro. You gotta... You gotta use containers, bro. Don't be cheap, you know what I mean? If you need to make up for the price of the fucking containers, bro, and then charge an extra 25 cents for the tacos or something, I don't know, bro. Just... Get it together, homie. That ain't cool. All right. So let's go ahead and uh, get intimately involved with this fourth taco. Excuse me. Let me know in the comments below how many tacos y'all can take down. I could probably put down 10. By me full as fuck. And I got shit to do. Mm. I don't think I've ever been this focused on my food for this long. without talking about my story. Mm. It's worth it. Mm. So I got one more taco. I think I'm gonna um, start with my story. Cause you guys are bored as fuck. Take that radish out homie. All right. Check this out real quick, though. Got a handful of fucking uh, asada and chicken. Bomb, bro. <clears throat> Fuck. Y'all ready for my story? I'm not, bro. I gotta eat this last taco. I have to. So delicious. I'm in fucking heaven, bro. Mexican heaven. So, I mean, if you're down to go home and put your shit on a plate and you're not out and about, I definitely would recommend shit. I don't know. Just dropped a couple pieces of asada. 15 second rule. <clears throat> right. Mm. Mm hmm. I think this is actual mukbang. All right, it's just fucking loaded with that salad, bro. This one. I'm excited about this one. As long as the asada quits falling out. So either she's loose or you're small. Mm.
Damn, mommy. Five tacos it was perfect, bro. Well, all right. Shit. Scoop the leftover carne. And then we're done with the food. And then we can get started with the suck bang. I mean, muck bang. I mean, uh, story. Sorry. Mmm. Damn. God damn, bro. You know the good, the food's fucking good eating. When you had me focused on the food for fucking 15 minutes like that. Like I said though, made a little bit of a mess. Was it worth it? I say so. I say that shit was highly worth it, alright? So, COVID season, spray some fucking sanitizer. This is actually just pure. Excuse me, fucking alcohol. So we're good to go. <coughs> Breathe that shit in. <coughs> You're like, damn, homie, that's COVID. All right. Let's get involved in this story. Woo! Fuck, that was good. All right. Tacos El Charrito. El Charrito, you redeemed yourselves. You uh, still need to fucking use containers, though, all right? So, there's quite a few years ago where I was kind of into racing and shit. Um, it wasn't that many years ago. It was like 2015, right? I've done a lot of shit in a lot of years, so I don't know, bro. I'm not keeping track. But 2015, I decided to try out for the NASCAR races, the ND 5000. I believe that's what it's called, bro. I don't know. I didn't pay attention to details. But they're like, all right, we need you to come try out. And the only thing I had to come try out with at that time was my taco truck. And when I say my taco truck, I wasn't selling tacos out of it. It's one that I just had, that I had bought, that I was going to sell. I was going to repair it and sell it to, you know, anybody that wanted to buy it. I was going to try to flip it, you know what I mean? So, there's a couple kids driving by on their bikes, flipping their tongues at each other. And they're both boys, so I don't know if they're going to grow up and be gay. Not that there's anything against that. But, um, anyways. So, this taco truck, I wanted to flip it. And I was like, I'm going to repair it, you know, and sell it. But that's all I had. My other two vehicles, that one actually worked. Uh, okay, so the taco truck worked. I just needed to repair some things on it to get it going as a taco truck. You know what I mean? But it worked to drive. But my other two vehicles, my Monte Carlo and my fucking Tahoe, bro. And I know that didn't roll off the tongue smoothly because, you know, I'm not that great at Spanish. But anyway, uh, my Monte Carlo and my Tahoe. Uh, we're both fucking, my uh, fuel tank went out on my Tahoe, and my Monte Carlo just always had problems, bro. So they weren't operable. And then there was this one date where I had to go try out, <clears throat> and I had to make that date because they wouldn't reschedule me. And the only thing I had was my taco truck. And I didn't want to hit anybody up like, hey, can I borrow your car and shit just in case something went wrong. So I said, fuck it, bro. It's just a fucking tryout, you know what I mean? They'll see my skills even if it's in a fucking taco truck. I was like, I'm just going to use that, and then I'll come, you know, to the actual race with a good car um so i ended up going to the tryouts they thought it was fucking funny as fuck when i got there but they're like you know go ahead you know show us what you got so i already had repaired the taco truck to you know be able to have some speed and shit so i was zooming around the track in my taco truck and shit and i ended up passing and they're like hey you did really well um we don't think you're gonna win but we think it'd be funny as fuck to have you out there it'll bring you know more of the hispanic community the mexican community to watch our races so we want you in i was like shit that's cool all right cool you know let me just get my car together they're like no 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 you're not gonna get your car together we think it'll be great to see the taco truck out there and you have to use the car that you came to the uh practice with 
I was like, so everybody that comes to the practice to try to get in and the tryouts, they have to use that vehicle for the actual race. And they're like, yeah, I don't know why I'm doing this right here. And they're like, yeah, we require people to use the car that they tried out with for the fucking race. I was like, fuck, bro. They're like, but either way, you know, we just think it'll be comedic gold, but also cool that you're going to be racing the taco truck. So I was like, hell yeah, bro. So I was actually, you know, signed up and ready to go. And they flew me out to Hickville. And I was out there. <clears throat> I got to see everything, you know, they introduced me and show me how the track looked and all that. <clears throat> and they're like, all right, so it's going to be set for this date. We'll see you then. So I got, I flew back, came back home. When I got back home, packed all my shit, got ready. And I left like around September 21st or something like that, right? And I jumped in the fucking taco truck. And I had to drive it there. You know what I mean? That's the only way I can get it there was drive it there. About halfway through, I was in like fucking... Fuck, bro. I don't even know where I was at. Like Tennessee area or somewhere around there, bro. And my shit fucking broke down, and I didn't even make it. I didn't even make it to there. My shit broke down. Um, I ended up calling my recruiter, and the dude was like, we can't have that. If you can't make it here, then, you know, you're just, you're just out. And we actually hired some Mexican models, and we think that'll be a better option for us anyways to bring in more people from the Hispanic community. So we're glad your shit broke down. And he hung up on me, bro. That fucking puto, bro. Um, I was hella mad, right? I was hella mad. I had to fucking leave my shit there, sell it to some guy out there that was interested in it for like 500 bucks, bro. Like, I put way more money into that shit. I had to sell it for 500 bucks, use that money to fly back. Um, I got back. I was pissed, bro. But within a couple days, right, I got some shit in the mail. I was going through my mail. And it was a payment from NASCAR and shit. And they ended up sending me about 13 grand, I guess, just for at least trying out and all that shit. Maybe they felt obligated to pay me something. I don't know. But they sent me 13 grand. So I got paid. Never made it into the race. Never got to be seen on TV. Um, and I never watched it. I never, you know, I don't know if they actually brought Mexican models out there and shit like that. If they did, let me know in the comments below because I didn't watch it myself. Um, but yeah, the shit was crazy, bro. So thank you guys for watching. Um, there's a couple things you can do. You can join the channel. You can go buy a shirt, a cochina or cochino shirt from my store. It'll be in the video description. You can fuck yourself. You can uh, like the video. You can comment. Um, you can do whatever you want in life, right? Do you have a dream? Do you not? I don't know. Is it a wet dream? Who knows? Well, those tacos were a wet dream come true. Other than the non-container. I'm going to complain about that until the day I... The day I... The day I... Uh, I'm going to live forever. I can't even say that. I'm immortal, bro. So anyways, thank you for watching the video. I appreciate it. See you on the next one, homie.